Hi, and welcome to my YouTube. All right, so I fixed the Game Capture HD60S firmware issue that was bricking Elgato's. If your Elgato is sitting on a shelf right now because you're way beyond your return time for Amazon or Elgato or whatever, and you accidentally followed a stupid video on YouTube that told you to update the firmware, this will probably save your Elgato. Let me, let me help you right now. So first off, the first thing that I did to get this to work, because trust, I've been struggling with this for months. Like, let me, it, it has not been a fun time. Elgato, screw you. Corsair, screw you and your customer support's garbage. Amazon, screw you too, because that's where I bought this off of and they wouldn't even take it back as a return. Terrible, terrible experience with this. But I am so happy it's fixed though. All right, so pretty much the first thing that I did was I, Open up my browser. All right. Went to the Elgato, um, Elgato.com. All right. We're just going to go there. All right. So what you want to do is you want to come over here. I don't know how they're going to have it, you know, in the future when you're watching this video, but you're going to look for not support crap. You're going to look for downloads. Yeah, there we go. Downloads right here. They moved it. All right. So Go ahead and pick the HD60S. We're going to do this live. All right, HD60S. Make sure you show Windows. Show all. Okay. Scroll down. You're going to need to download and install the 4K capture utility right here. Go ahead and click download and install this. You're going to need this. Okay. And then the second thing you're going to need is the actual game capture software itself as well to confirm that your, fir your firmware is actually bricked. Okay. So go ahead and download this as well, right here. And then we're going to actually, under Game Capture here, we're going to find hardware drivers right here. Click on that. It's going to bring you to this page. We're going to scroll all the way down to the last two drivers right here. We're going to download the HD60S driver. Click on that, download it, and unplug your Elgato from your computer. Next up, plug your Elgato back into your computer. Go to Device Manager. Look under Sound and Video Game Controllers. Click on your Elgato Capture Card. It might it might be broken or whatever. Uninstall it from here and check off this box and click Uninstall. After it's gone, wait a couple seconds, unplug it, plug it back in, let Windows install whatever drivers it wants to try to install to try and get it to pop up here in Device Manager. Once you get it to pop back up here in Device Manager, you can fix it. My first original issue was that I couldn't get it to pop up in Device Manager. My Elgato was so bricked that it literally would not pop up here. So this is a, a little solution to fix this. So go ahead. Once you download the Elgato Game Capture HD60S older Windows 10 driver right here, you're going to run it. So for me, it just went here, went to downloads, and I just, I ran the, uh, this one right here, the 1.72, is it zero, yeah. So 1.1.0.172, that is the driver that you want to install. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Once that's installed, unplug your Elgato one more time, plug it back in, and then we're going to go ahead and launch the game capture utility. So you should be seeing a weird bug right here where it says initializing here. You're not going to see no Nintendo Switch, no PlayStation, no nothing. You're going to it's just going to say initializing or like searching for Elgato game capture device or something like that. And over here where it says game capture HD, you're going to notice that it's saying like connecting or trying to connect or trying to find um, like it's trying to capture the thing, but it can't do it because the firmware is broken. So what you want to do is hold the control key or the command key if you're using a Mac on your keyboard, click on this settings button right here. Firmware version, if it's bricked because you click this and you weren't supposed to freaking click it, it's going to say 0000. Okay? If you can click on here and confirm that it says 0000, go ahead and close this out. Do not click this goddamn button. Please do not click this goddamn button. Corsair should have a giant sign right here that says do not click this goddamn button, but they don't. So I'm going to tell you right now one more time, do not click this fucking button. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel from here. Okay, 
We're going to close this. And now we're going to open up the 4K capture utility, which is what we should just be using all the freaking time because it's so much better than just the game capture HD utility anyway. So when, once the 4K uh, capture utility is open, go ahead and skip this version. Don't, don't worry about version updates. Click on the settings, open preferences. We're going to, oh wait, I'm so sorry. So we're not going to check for updates or anything like that because we installed the update manually. So you're going to hold the control key again, I'm sorry, and click on this settings key, just like that. Now we're going to go to device and you're going to see firmware version right here. Go ahead, make sure your Elgato is plugged into a USB type three reliable port on your computer something that doesn't flicker on and off and crap like that. You need to make sure this is a stable freaking connection. Go ahead and plug it in, click right here, update firmware, and let the 4K utility fix your Elgato. It's gonna update the firmware and you're gonna see that it's gonna work. So you're, you're, this is the fix right here. All you have to do after you do all the little steps that I just showed you, this is the last step and this is what's gonna fix your Elgato. So I, as soon as I updated the firmware, I literally closed the application, I reopened it, unplugged my switch, plugged it back in, and it was working. My, my switch is working here on my Elgato. It's, uh, let's show you that it's working right here. So I'm gonna take out my switch controllers, close that, <coughs> and Super Smash Brothers, why not? Just, just to make sure this is like capturing gameplay at 60 FPS like it should be, you know what I mean? So let's make sure that this isn't just <laughs> working let's make sure this is working good okay because this firm like this was bricked my elgato has been bricked for at least eight months like i i cannot put into words how frustrating that is like you spend 150 dollars on a product all right and it's not as premium as it's meant out to be you know what i mean so like a lot of people swear by elgato and everything and you know what at this point, this is the last Elgato thing that I'm probably ever gonna buy with my own money. <laughs> so let's let's get in the Smash. Make sure this is recording gameplay like decently, and and yeah, and we'll we'll see how this goes. So go Smash, Smash, and let's see. No fucking items. Oh god, I'm getting a terrible echo though. I mean, everything's working at least. So we're gonna mute that. <laughs> and all right, so we'll just go to like battlefield. Why not? Let's give it a second, and there we go. Let's just go like separate. Why not? Ugh. All right, let's see what's going on here. How's we uh? It's working totally fine. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. Get out of here, kid. How's we got? Oh, <laughs> yo, that reflect was nutty, though. All right, let's be real. Oh, screw you, Kazuya. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, dude. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Alright, well, this is working. I'm gonna keep getting my ass kicked by Kazuya. Let's just get out of there. <laughs> well, so, I'm, ho I'm hoping that this helped you fix your Elgato, so that way you can go ahead and record your gameplay and make more videos, just like I can now, too. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for your time, and I really, really hope that Elgato themselves put out their own version of a fix for anyone's broken HD60Ss or any broken Elgato cards that you need to get fixed. They really need to make a tool that will just do this automatically. And the downside about doing this too, if your Elgato does break, which I have noticed, is the light bar on your Elgato will no longer work. So doing this fix comes with a caveat. You won't have your light bar working on your Elgato anymore, your HD60S. With all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content, especially if I find out more helpful tips and tricks like this. Thank you so much for your time. Have a safe day, guys. I'll see you in the next one.